OK. All right, so this next one is um, called the triangle angle bisector. All right, now what's important about this one is the last couple set of notes, what we were talking about was when triangles were similar to each other, right? We wrote ratio proportions when we had similar triangles. Now we just have a triangle, just one similar tri one triangle. And what the triangle angle bisector tells us is if we have a triangle and we have an angle bisector, right? This line bisects the angle. If we have an angle bisector, we actually have lengths that are proportional to one another. So I can actually, and I wrote this up in kind of blue and red so you guys can see how they're proportional to each other. So what I can write is KM is to LM is proportional to KJ to LJ. OK, Donovan, did you get that? Yeah. All right. So what's really nice is when you guys look for an angle bisector, think to use this to be able to see what you could have for your missing side lengths. OK? That's it. That's it. <laughs> 